Summer may mean a break for teachers and students, but staff at local animal shelters find themselves busier than usual. Um, yeah, summertime is particularly a busier time. Um, a lot of the, the animals you know, are in the heat throughout the spring, and if that an those animals aren't spayed or neutered, then that's whenever you see the litters of puppies and kittens and the increased intake. And the Central Missouri Humane Society has been putting pets with people since 1943. They're one of the three open door shelters in Missouri. They always seem to be overcrowded. Shelters don't like to have to kill animals to make space, and Captain Bob Sanova made clear it's a last resort for the Jefferson City Animal Shelter. We're not looking to put animals down. That's, that's normal, unless the animal is severely injured or has a disease that could spread through the shelter. Uh, we're not quick about putting animals down. We make every effort. The best way to control the overflow in pet population is still to have your pet spayed or neutered. The Central Missouri Humane Society has noticed a growing problem for pet owners finding extra money to set aside to get the procedure and, uh, done. And individuals in, with low income circumstances can, you know, possibly get a free spay or neuter. Shirley Anderson drove all the way from Sturgeon to take advantage of the low cost spaying options. I checked other places and I come here due to the expense. Colin told us he feels that pet overpopulation is always going to be a problem unless the community at large takes responsibility and gets their pet spayed or neutered. Carissa Beely, KRCG 13 News.